Hey guys, what's up? So it's January 13th, 2017. Here in the Midwest, we have a huge ice storm coming in, or predicted to be huge. And, um, you know, I, pre I prepared myself, you know, food-wise and fuel-wise, uh, early on this week, Monday, or Monday and Tuesday, I was preparing for this storm to come in. Uh, and this morning, on my way home from work, I stopped at Walmart, of all places. Horrible ch choice, but... Uh, rumor has it that last night this Walmart was a complete disaster and um, not a surprise to be honest um, I had a co-worker who told me they went here last night not thinking of the storm but because they wanted to get groceries and the uh, the meat section was completely wiped out uh, all I had was a couple packages of uh, lunch meat and some other areas were wiped out, you know, the milk and whatnot. And I don't know why. Why does it have to be now? Why weren't you guys doing this, you know, days ago? Well, not everybody's on the same track. But anyways, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to film several areas of the store. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do the outdoor section to see if anything's, uh, you know, overtaken there. You know, propane, camp fuel and that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to go to the, the uh, food section and we will see uh, what it looks like, you know, water and other supplies. Um, I know there are several places, and they were shared on Fox News that, like, Walmarts were wiped out, and you know, local grocery stores were completely wiped out. It's just panic buying. Uh, who knows how long this, sto this storm will last, and or if it, how bad it will be. Um, I would say 10 to 12 years ago, we had a really, really bad uh, winter storm come through. It was just straight up ice. Well, it had to have been 2003, 2002, I think it was here in the Midwest. We had a nasty uh, winter storm. And that winter storm uh, cut the electricity off to my hometown for like, I don't know, five, six, seven days. Now, my family, we weren't preppers then. I wasn't a prepper. I was much younger. And we had a generator and water and that kind of stuff. But we didn't have everything that I thought we should have and I think we should have had now and so I'm gonna go ahead and go in the Walmart and we will see how disaster it is this morning well we can start off with the entire parking lot being salted with rock salt it's kind of interesting let's go on in and we'll see how it is oh my goodness guys shelves are completely bare what are we going to do absolutely bare Oh wait, this is the garden section. Old Christmas stuff. Wrong aisle, oh, sorry. We're damn near out of RC cars for this fun. What the heck? Look at that. There's nothing here. We can have fun on this ice. Or the snow is coming. Well, so far, storage containers haven't been raided completely. There's still bags and stuff here nobody's thought of getting. Um... Lanterns are gone. Oh wait, they're down there now. Propane is completely gone. That's where propane goes. Completely missing. Fuel down here is completely gone. What the hell? This was full a couple days ago. These are the little sterno fuel stoves. They're gone. Flashlights are a little thin. Well, if you're too lazy to cut down a tree, there's wood here. Heaters are still here. But these only work if you have, you know, electricity. Or means to make electricity. Hmm. Interesting. What kind of uh, cool trick is this? Lamp oil is missing. All right, so either people haven't purchased any water here yet, or they've restocked fairly well. Um, now, yellow jugs are missing here and there. Not too off the bat, but there's still a lot of bottled water there for anybody to be buying anything. 
Maybe I'm missing something. Last year's weather report, maybe? I don't know. I'm actually going to pick up one of these again. It's got to be one of those last minute shoppers. Because, of course, the, uh, the eggs are here. But they're only in Simpsons here. North is full. Yogurt's full. Everything is here. Like, why do we do? Why are we freaking out? Come on, people. Are you prepared? Well guys, uh, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Walmart was stocked full of supplies, um, minus a propane and uh, you know, Coleman camp fuel or whatever you want to use for your um, for your stoves and stuff. But I, I ended up getting a, a jug of this pre-ice, anti-ice stuff. Never seen it before. Uh, it was three bucks for a big old jug. And then a couple of lighters and a gallon of water. I, I usually drink big gallons of water and I broke my jug um, the other night. So whole like $6 worth of stuff I bought. But I, otherwise I'm prepared for this storm that may or may not come. But anyhow, um, you know, we're probably not, Midwest isn't prepared for a storm like this anyways until the day of. I'm sure the, uh, Liquid will start falling here soon enough. It's 19 degrees. The storm is definitely moving in, and um, people will be here at the store here soon enough. Being the fact that I was here at 7:30 this morning, and most people still aren't out of bed. But anyways, uh, keep coming, carry on. You guys stay safe. See you later.